Nearly 1,500 grams of marijuana, as well as other paraphernalia, found outside a prison in Lexington. Investigators think someone was trying to sneak it in. And it is not the first time someone tried to get drugs inside that same facility this month. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale joins us now with details. Well, a spokesman for the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office says it's not clear if the two incidents are related and says investigators are still looking for at least one of the would-be suppliers. This is something that just can't happen. Two sets of drugs seized in two days. You're talking about um, trying to, to bring drugs inside of a prison. Outside of the Lexington Assessment and Reception Center. It's dangerous. We got to do everything in our power to stop it. Cleveland County Sheriff's Office spokesman Hunter McKee says the first of these incidents happened last Thursday. People inside of the prison actually saw uh, three individuals outside of the prison trying to throw um, what looked like bags over the prison walls. Uh, Deputy Patrick Sheriff uh, located their uh, vehicle, stopped them, um, and arrested three people that were inside. Court records show a deputy found four phones and several packages of marijuana inside a bag that Chance Berg, Sarah Ulner, and Andrew Becton had in their car. According to court documents, these items are often used or sold within the prison by inmates to make money. Each member of the trio is facing a felony charge for conspiracy to bring contraband into a penal institution. The second case that recently happened on Friday, we're still trying to find who was involved in that. McKee says someone who lives in the area saw these suspicious backpacks lying nearby the prison and alerted authorities. Inside, more than 1,400 grams of marijuana, boxes of rolling paper, and six cell phones. Our investigators looked into it and they found that these bags, these drugs were intended to go inside of the uh, prison, inside the walls. Um, luckily, they were caught before that transpired. Well, if anyone has any information about Friday's incident, you're asked to call the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office, and that number is on our website.